So let's say you you took all this money out, blew it, and then died the, the day after, right? You spent all you spent a five hundred fifty thousand dollars in one day, blew it, went had a blast, right? And then you passed away. Your family would still receive eight hundred and forty two thousand four hundred forty eight dollars, completely tax free. That is another factor that you want to uh, decide in your decision. When you're looking at where can I store savings dollars? Well, what's the most efficient way for me to grow my money safely where I won't lose a penny? Both options, you don't lose a penny. So that's, that's important. Other examples I wrote here was savings account, money market, and CDs, right? The rates will change, but you're guaranteed not to lose money by just having it there. Now, obviously, if you factor in Inflation, yes, you lose money, but that's with both, right? So we're not looking at, we're just counting that right now. We're just looking at what does the tool produce itself? So that's something you wanna keep in mind. Say, oh, I have this living benefit and I have this death benefit. Anything happens to me, if I blow, use all that money while I lived, my family will still get a humongous, a humongous tax-free. Imagine giving your son, daughter, grandson, granddaughter, imagine giving them a $842,000 tax-free head start on their life. And then guess what? They could acquire both of these at the same exact time and see which one performs the best. Because obviously this is just illustrations. These are assumptions. But now they don't have to choose like you had to choose with the little money that you did have. And you're trying to decide what to do with those funds. So if you're thinking really, really long term, you might value this. Or if you're like, hey, you know, this sounds a little too confusing? All right. Maybe this is less confusing. Do some Google research. Let me know your thoughts. Please comment below what you think about that in terms of the, the numbers I laid out, the rates of returns. Which one do you value most? Which one are you going to go with? Or, or if you're in the situation and you're deciding, I would do this for yourself. Map out what paying into a savings account would look like over 30 years. Map out what it would look like contributing to a CD over 30 years, a money market over 30 years, right? But if you're going to compare me putting in 10,000 into a whole life insurance contract versus putting 10,000 into crypto or 10,000 into a brokerage account, you're not doing a proper apples to apples comparison, right? It's more like apples to oranges because you're comparing a savings vehicle, savings protection asset to an investment that has higher upside potential and risk, risk of loss.